it yourself once a month. And so I'm gonna see at least something to tide me over, get through waiting for months for the shot to come. Cause I don't wanna spend the holidays feeling like this. I was late to work the last two days because of headache and uh, not really active yesterday at all. I mean, we were making corn dogs for dinner and I didn't have help. That's not good. What do you think of the doctor? That's kind of an intense personality. Yeah. I don't know. That's how it kind of felt. Yeah. But not, not, uh, not in a, like an aggressive way or anything. Just kind of bright eyed. The doctor was so quiet. Mr. Rogerish. Right. Right. I guess. Kind of so. wanted to hug him. Like he's just so <laughs> gentle and kind and just a little. A little more intense. Yeah, this doctor's. But he, he's trying. You can tell he's trying to figure like what in the hell is going on. Yeah, I mean, he. I don't even think he thinks he's the man for the job, but he took it anyway. No, he was, he was willing to throw something at him. Give it a try. So I'm going to increase one of my medicines and see if that makes the difference. If not, there's some sort of patch that we'll yeah. use as the next round. Plus, I'm going to order another medicine from my neurologist, from Dr. Eric. So. You know, we're throwing something at it. That's all I want. I just wanted to stop not doing anything. I'm driving. You didn't bring a wallet. He forgot his wallet. Where's your watch, honey? <laughs> I'm not the only one. Two days in a row I had to drive home for my phone, so I really shouldn't be making fun of him. <laughs> shocking turn of events I am going to the hospital the tumor board reviewed my scans and they want new scans of my spine which is really considered three scans so three MRIs one cervical lumbar and what's the other one there's three sections of your spine <laughs> Drawing a blank. There's three. Thoracic. Very good. Cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. And so it's technically three MRIs that I'm doing. And I scheduled it at night to avoid traffic. That was not perfect for sure. Uh, still hitting rush hour. But um, Google says we'll get and get there in time. So they scheduled me for 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. Doesn't that sound like a fun evening? So we're doing that and then tomorrow I drive back down and follow up with the doctor who is going to look at him. I really like this doctor, but he didn't want to see me. So I'm not sure I was going to take it. The person who's supposed to see me was out on leave. So I don't think he's going to be particularly thrilled to see me, but oh well, it's getting done. Ooh, look at the space needle. <laughs> you on camera how are you fine he's fine driving he's driving. Traffic. driving yippee i have a headache so i took some medicine so i'm a little wacky and i really 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 hope i have time to eat dinner he will have time to eat dinner while he waits for three hour mri can't I wait the cafeteria at the hospital this hospital has the worst cafeteria of any of the cafeterias, I think. Uh, you definitely the, the First Hill campus is pretty bad too. It's hard to compare bad hospital food and figure out which is worse. Harbor View's the best. I hear Harbor View's the best. I tried to go once and they weren't fully open, so it wasn't so awesome. You know when, it, when the grill's not open and stuff? Wow, look at this construction. Look at that. You see right down there, right there, that's El Corazon. Many, many, many shows at El Corazon. Look, there's vans unloading stuff. And 
there is harm reduction housing and a pizzeria <laughs> and a Lego building it's called Met Park and it looks like Legos my mom used to work there I totally forgot to tell you about this last night. The nurse and the tech are talking back and forth. And he's saying, do you think we should? Should we not? And she's asking me a few medical questions. And I go, yeah, you should run the creatinine. And they go, oh, I go, you won't get in trouble. And they go, no, we only get in trouble if we don't run it. I said, oh yeah, definitely run the creatinine. So now I'm telling them what tests to run to make sure my kidneys are functioning before I have an MRI. I thought it was kind of funny, you know. At a certain point, you can't just sit in the back seat of your own life. Please test me and make sure I'm healthy enough for this. I just drove past El Corazon and there was a big like tour bus. So I asked Siri like who was playing at El Corazon tonight. It's Striper! Yes! there are no changes see in a year that's as good as you get with my disease so we are out of here my headache is killing me today and I have one more thing I have to do <laughs> I was no food, no drink for six hours before the ultrasound, and the ultrasound tech totally told me that I, I am. didn't make it. Oh. Six hours. I was starving. Weren't you hungry? I wasn't six hours. Oh yeah, yeah. Although I hadn't eaten since yesterday right. afternoon. Right. Exactly. So weren't you hungry? I was starving. My stomach was growling during the exam. Obviously, I was as hungry as you. <laughs> so I had, they did an ultrasound of my bladder and both my kidneys, and she kind of let it slip that I'm fine. So now it's just waiting around for the doctor's appointment so he can tell me I'm fine. 
and he gets so disappointed because he's a surgeon and he wants to operate and I haven't had a surgery with him in like 12 years so he gets seriously bummed but I can't have surgery just so he gets to do surgery on me because he wants to like that's not a valid reason <laughs> I have to wait till I actually need it I took an elevator from the parking garage that I never took before and I kind of got lost coming out and then finding and then I found the right elevator anyway um, this is the thing that happens at NIH, but now it's happening in my other hospitals is that they move walls and things while you're gone. So we're only here like once every six months. And there's gonna be walls moved. Last time, what did they move? We couldn't find radiology. They had moved radiology from one floor to another, which is crazy if you think about moving MRI machines and CAT scans. Like that's a major construction. So I wonder if they have two radiologies, one for the hospital and one for the clinics and just the clinic one, and then that one's just for patients that are inpatient, because I can't imagine they moved an MRI machine, but who knows? I wonder what you do with an old MRI machine when you need to get a new one. Ooh. They cost a million dollars. I used to have a joke, people say, oh, are you, is your health okay? And I'd say, well, it was last time I had my doctor's appointments and my scans, but you know, I'm gonna get an MRI machine for the garage, then I'll always know. And people are like, oh, seriously? You're gonna get an MRI machine for your garage? couldn't make that joke anymore. So, yeah, all my husband's tools would be sucked into the giant magnet. It's a million dollars. I could have an MRI machine in my garage. What'd you do with your retirement? <laughs> Bought an MRI machine. <laughs> exactly. Have all the neighbors over. I'm a millionaire, but I can't eat. Got an MRI machine. But there's that pounding noise. Tung, 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 tung. What do you, what do you want to image? I can image it for you. As long as it doesn't have any metal. It is a giant magnet. Uh, the doctor confirmed I had the same results as were leaked to me. So I am stable kidney wise. So now it's just figuring out what's going on with my head, my mind, and my brain. Well, that is it. So thank you for watching my vlog channel. Don't forget, I also have my bass playing channel. And here's a playlist of videos about my medical stuff for those of you who can relate to medical things. And down below is a video that YouTube picked out just for you.